I'm Tony Ant News. There are no houses to rent that are affordable. So this is the long form video. Um, so, trying to find a house to rent, three bedroom, at the local housing rate, which is 1,050. Now that's supposed to be the 30th percent or so. If you've got 100 houses, 30th house up should be there affordable housing right it doesn't exist so how did the office of valuation or the valuation office agency according to them um they supposed to gather this information and come to the 30th percentile um and we can't find a house anywhere now in our area southampton wider area we're talking about southampton eastley fair um Romsey, North Badsley, um, Waterside, areas like that. Um, there should be something to rent at that price. 1050 doesn't exist. So I go on right move and put the numbers in and it just doesn't, it's not, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, we're actually getting up six houses under 1300 pound. And most of those have already got let agreed on them. So I'm going to do a freedom of information request to the valuation office. I'm going to find out what numbers they used, what data they used, and we're going to challenge that data, but I've got to find out, first of all, I've got to find out how they came to that number because that number is wrong. That number is, you know, the, the reality of this is that somebody on universal credit, working person, you know, they're earning about £1,200 a month, right? After taxes. And then if they get any extra hours, they, that's all taken by 20% um, tax, 10% national insurance. Then they're on the 55% taper. So if they're earning £11 an hour, they only actually get £3.50 an hour to actually pay the extra rent that isn't covered so they have to do a hell of a lot of overtime to pay the 250 pound a month gap so they've got to do about 60 hours a month to cover the gap um so it's clearly unfair and we we don't understand how the valuation office have this number so wrong so the first thing is Freedom of Information Act. Get the numbers they use. Ask them to review their decision. Because, quite frankly, I can't go to the Ombudsman or go to Judicial Review without asking the questions first and giving them a chance to put the question right. So, anyway, I'm Tony Ant News. I'm going to try and make a dent in this problem. But, you know... If you've got stories about the Southampton um, area rent allowance, that you know, if you can tell me how they've come to these numbers, if you've got a problem, email me, message me, or any way you can. Um, I think it's antnewsuk at gmail.com. Anyway, I'm Tony Ant News, signing out for now.